I like to repeat the top 10. You know, I'm not going to be greedy enough to say we get the top five right way, but I want to see that progress. I want to feel us enjoy it a little more and have a magical season because I felt like we kind of backdoored in the top 10 and we didn't realize how good a year it was and didn't get a chance to enjoy it because we were striving for a goal. So let's win some championships this year. Let's get to eight regular season football wins, which we haven't done in a long time. Let's get back to the Final Four. I want to see one of those sports teams that hasn't had that breakout year. Maybe it's volleyball or you know, let's see track make an extra step. I want to see more champions for us and be able to have those kids have that championship experience. It's something, a goal that they want to do. And the good thing is that we welcome those guys to come back, not just our NBA pro guys, but other guys that didn't finish school as well. And I think that's really helped set a trend that, you know, I think I want to do that too. It's been neat just to see guys get back. You know, having that opportunity to see a person graduate after they come back, you know, thinking about the continuing education that people are doing, getting their masters and all that, but to come back and you know you gotta go through college again as an adult, you know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a neat deal to see them go through it. Does it make you proud? Yeah, it does, because I know it matters. You know, I've sat there with Anthony Davis and John Wall and they're fighting to make sure they have all A's and B's that last spring semester. Those are two guys that went number one in the draft, along with guys like Carl Towns that were great students not just decent students or good students or past, but great students that really cared about it. They used to ask my daughter when we first got here, because she was pretty young, like, you know, what, is, what does your dad do? Well, he protects the players, which is pretty close to the job, but not really realizing what I did, because at a home game, I'd be in a suit with an earpiece on. I probably looked like security, maybe to her. But obviously, I was making sure they get escorted here and there back in my media relations role. But I think they enjoy it. They're, I mean, they've been around it. It's been such a part of their lives. I mean, they used to be running around these offices before, and now they're like you know, high school and fifth grade students. I can't believe it. But, you know, my wife really enjoys that too, is that family atmosphere when things go wrong, and we get that UK family connection. You know, there's a lot of things that don't have anything to do with, you know, my race, but I do feel that additional responsibility as a role model just to be able to show people, hey, here's a path or something you can do. I mean, if you can see somebody, it might not be just to where I am, but even further. But if you can see like, hey, you can see me in this position of where I am, maybe you can dream even bigger because this is real. This is realistic for you. I think the biggest thing, being a Birmingham, Alabama boy, I grew up in Auburn, Alabama country, SEC country, you know, football capital of the South. I have never, I never thought I'd see a place that was anywhere close to as crazy as I thought the fandom was growing up in there. But honestly, I think the way we are here, it, it might top it all. I've never seen so many people wear it with pride. I can tell anybody, said it is, when I compared it, like, how is it there? I said, it's, it's Alabama football, but it's not just basketball here. And I think that's the thing that strives, like that carrot that's out there for us, ready to see all these things grow. And being here early enough to see all our programs get to this top 10 level of departments, been fun.